Hello all aspiring and actual roboticists who are cute! Today we want to present you the research of a soft artificial skin which can detect stretching as well as pressure. The skin is the largest organ of the human body. Being the principal site of interaction with the environment, it forms a protective wall to defend internal tissues against foreign endangerments such as pathogens or UV light. It contains a variety of sensory receptors that transmit neural information to the brain, allowing people to recognize their surroundings. Haptic sensing is the sense of touch. It's absolutely critical to being able to act in the environment. Likewise, any robot that expected to perform in the real world should have some sense of touch to be able to detect and respond to unexpected contact with other objects. In this video, we want to present some of the latest research being done on robotic skin with haptic sensors. Previous attempts to create haptic sensors embedded in the skin haven't been stretchable or been able to work under large strains, limiting their usefulness. Is it actually possible to create an artificial skin which is as flexible as the human skin? It is! Scientists developed a flexible electronic skin to bring the sense of touch to robots and prosthetic devices. Their approach is to use a liquid conductive material as a sensor, called eutectic gallium indium, which is an alloy of gallium and indium that is liquid at room temperature. Its high surface tension and conductivity make it ideal for a liquid sensor. When the microchannels filled with conductive fluid are deformed, the resistance will increase due to the increase in channel length, if stretched, or the decrease in cross-sectional areas, if pressed. The skin itself was made of silicone rubber. Different layers were created by printing molds in a 3D printer and then filling the molds with silicone. Once the silicone hardens, a small piece of plastic was inserted between layers to create microchannels. And then the space between the layers was spin coated by liquid silicone to connect them. The liquid sensor was subsequently injected into the channels and finally electrodes were inserted to detect the changes in resistance. Three different channel configurations were used in the skin. Two consisting of straight lines and one circular pattern. The straight sensors can detect stretching along their direction as well as pressure applied to them. The circular pattern can also detect the application of pressure. By calculating the change in resistance along the three sensors, they could determine what deformation was taking place. In other words, whether and by how much it was being stretched or pushed down. Researchers at the WIS Institute used the artificial skin for developing a soft sensing suit to monitor hip, knee and ankle plane joint angles of the wearer. The hyperelastic strain sensors have a refined design with the use of discretized stiffness gradients to improve mechanical durability. Motions of the joints are detected as strain on the surface of the garment. A research team from North Carolina State University has even created conductive and stretchable wires that can sense torsion, strain and touch. The metal inside the fibers detects touch via changes in capacitance. These innovations certainly offer a promising avenue of research in the fields of robotics and virtual reality, flexible organic photovoltaics, prosthetic devices, wearable health monitors and even surgical implanted monitors. Here at Roboy we've also been working on haptic sensors for robot skin. The main idea is to cover Roboy's body with a silicone layered skin which is capable of sensing pressure and accurately detect the location of different pressure points applied in real time. The Roboy skin is a multifaceted project which entails fabrication process of the silicone skin, the embedding of electronic equipment into the skin, simulation process for different sensor receptor constellations as well as the reconstruction of the pressure map. Our approach is based on flexible planar silicone waveguides to determine deformation. LEDs embedded in the skin create light and when pressure is applied this creates a shadow, 
which can be detected and used to reconstruct what deformation is taking place. The Robi project is an open source project with the goal to build a robot as good as the human body. We created an open platform for robot development that unites researchers, companies, students and artists from a broad spectrum of disciplines. Robi means full stack robotics, from mechanics to electronics to control to cognitive systems. Artificial intelligence is everywhere and we work on all levels to make Robi truly intelligent. The Robi team aims to build better, more useful robots by adopting principles from biology and to help humans with musculoskeletal limitations do better prosthetics, better training and exoskeletons. So if you are interested and want to know more, check out our website roboy.org or the GitHub account github.com slash roboy. Thanks for watching another episode of R-Cube. See you soon and stay curious.